Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the new movie called Run Sweetheart Run that is streaming on Amazon Prime. Run Sweetheart Run is about an executive secretary and single mom named Sherry agreeing to go on a blind date set up by her boss. After a romantic dinner, Sherry's charming date Ethan invites her to his house for a nightcap. Instead of a romantic spark, she gets fire and brimstone instead. Soon Sherry bolts out the door and flees for her life, running in the streets with her shoes off and her dress ripped. Prince Charming is turned out as the Prince of Darkness and Sherry will spend the night just trying to stay alive. So this film is directed by Shanna Feast. She used her story as a horrific date of her experience that she had in her early 20s as an inspiration for the movie. As Shanna recalls, she once went on a date with a man who looked incredible on paper, but it went bad very quickly. She ended up running out of his house in the Hollywood Hills barefoot without her phone and purse. And she stated that the night was terrifying and illuminating. People that I don't think that was going to help me did help me, and the people I thought that, was, that were going to help me didn't really help me so much as they could have. It was almost what happened on foot going back to my house worse than what happened on the date. So when it comes to movies, I don't watch trailers because they ruin the movie. But for this movie, I should have watched the trailer because this would have saved me so much time watching this film because to be honest, I really didn't like the film. I get what the director was trying to do as having a protagonist lead in his fight and back to stay alive and also dealing with men in general that is rude and disrespectful in the workplace and outside the workplace. So I feel like they missed the mark with the storyline and Sherry's character. I felt like I wanted a little bit more from her, but they just kind of put her in a box, so, so to say, as far as being a single mom, being disrespectful when it comes to men. And she was just basically, um, a, I think a paralegal working at the front desk and just basically just taking orders from men in general in the workplace. And so this movie is like more of like a thriller and it's definitely a straightforward movie and it gets right into the action very quickly. I just feel like this movie just wasn't for me at all. Other than that, I would not be watching this film again. But if you're interested in watching it, it's on Amazon Prime that is streaming out today. So make sure you check that out if that's something guys that like thriller movies. So that is all I have because this is a short review <laughs> because it's really nothing for me to add on to. It's just the simple fact that this is about a girl that just trying to be a lawyer because that's what she's going to school for. But I would say this, it does have a little bit of gore in it and it's a little bit gruesome. Um, I do like the aspect of the scenes of a movie. It's like almost two hours, so be prepared <laughs> to watch this film. But that is all I have, so let me know in the comments if you had already checked out the Run Sweetheart Run movie. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe for more movie reviews like these. And until 